Reports are stating that Spurs are hopeful that Antonio Conte will sign a new deal at the club. Former midfielder Jermaine Genes has come out and said that Harry Kane don't perform in the big games. Reports are stating that Spurs are eyeing a move for Chris Smalling on a free transfer. Tottenham's FA Youth Cup game has now been postponed. The Women's FA Cup draw has taken place. And Antonio Conte wrote a message to Richarlison, who returned to Hotspur Way back at training on Monday. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all keeping well. This is another edition of Tottenham News, where I'll be going through all of the latest Spurs news, rumours and reports. If you're watching this on YouTube, please do hit that subscribe button, like, share and comment below. And if you're listening to this on an audio platform, please do hit that follow button and leave a review if you can. On Monday, it was confirmed by Tottenham Hotspur Football Club due to the weather conditions, our FA Youth Cup third round tie at home to Queen's Park Rangers, scheduled for Tuesday the 13th of December, has been postponed. The match will now be held on Tuesday the 20th of December, kick-off 7pm, and it will remain at the Lamech Stadium, the home of Stevenage Football Club. In addition, our youngsters have been drawn away to Manchester City in the quarterfinals of the Under-18 Premier League Cup. Stuart Lewis's side qualified for the knockout stages as winners of Group F with seven points from a possible nine and will now head to the City Academy Stadium in the last eight on Saturday, the 4th of February. Kickoff will be 11.30am. On Monday evening, it was confirmed by the Tottenham Hotspur women that we have been drawn at home to London City Lionesses or Portsmouth for the fourth round of the Women's FA Cup. The tie is scheduled to take place on Sunday, the 29th of January at Brisbane Road, the home of Leighton Orient Football Club. Kickoff time to be confirmed. London City were due to host Portsmouth in the third round on Sunday, but the match was postponed due to a frozen pitch. A report has just been published by the Evening Standard and they are stating that Richarlison has returned to work at Tottenham following his early exit from the World Cup. The Brazil striker shared an image of his Spurs training kit on Monday evening as he returned to Hotspur Way with the Premier League restart on the horizon. Richarlison wrote, we're back on an Instagram post with a blue love heart emoji. Also posted by the 25-year-old was a handwritten message taped to one of the training ground's walls by Antonio Conte. Antonio Conte wrote the following, we start to win, then we will see the way. It was then signed by the Italian coach. Back to the report from the Standard, it then goes on to say that Tottenham get their league campaign back underway on Boxing Day with a trip across the capital to Brentford as they look to push further up the table. Currently sat fourth with a three-point gap either side to Manchester City in second and Manchester United in fifth. A report has just been published by HITC and they are stating that Tottenham are reportedly considering a move to bring back Roma defender Chris Smalling back to the Premier League next summer when his contract ends in June. A player that Jose Mourinho said should have been in England's World Cup squad. Also in the report, it says that London-born Chris Smalling, 33, has excelled for Roma after being sold to the Italian side initially on loan in 2019. He has gone on to play 117 times in all competitions in three and a bit seasons. In that time, Roma have kept 34 clean sheets. Chris Smalling has scored 10 goals and helped Roma win the Europa Conference League, their first ever European title. But the defender's long-term future is now in doubt. His £83,000 a week deal is due to come to an end in June 2023. Back in October 2022, before the World Cup began, former Tottenham Hotspur midfielder, now TV pundit, Jermaine Jenis, was talking about Harry Kane on the Rio Ferdinand's Vibe and Five podcast. He said, my biggest issue for Harry Kane, and he's going to be a god at Spurs whenever he decides to retire, he will go down as one of the greatest players in Premier League history. Jermaine Jenis then went on to say finals and big games, I think, are a problem when it comes to what he's done in those moments. If you go over Spurs' recent history and some of their biggest moments, City away, quarterfinal, didn't play. That's one of their biggest moments. Tottenham, Ajax, comeback, didn't feature. 
He was injured in all of those games and are historically some of the biggest moments in Tottenham's career. Getting into the Champions League final, performed well and scored goals. He wasn't anywhere to be seen. I'm not saying he shouldn't be in the team. I'm just saying in these big moments when the final came, injured, didn't perform. Two League Cup finals, not performed. Semi-finals, not performed. The Evening Standard have just reported that Tottenham are set for a round of contract talks with Antonio Conte this week as they bid to tie the Italian boss down to a new long-term deal. Antonio Conte's current contract expires at the end of this season and Spurs have scheduled fresh discussions with Chairman Daniel Levy and Managing Director Fabio Prasci. There is optimism that Antonio Conte is happy at Tottenham and will commit his long-term future to the club. But Antonio Conte is set to want assurances over plans for the January transfer window as he targets a top four finish and a deep run into the Champions League in the second half of the season. The report then goes on to say that discussions are likely to centre around whether Antonio Conte feels the club shares his ambition. Antonio Conte has been touted in the Italian media for a return to Juventus at the end of the season and he has spent time in Turin during the mid-season break for the World Cup. The 53-year-old has now returned to London as Spurs step up preparations for the return of the domestic season after the World Cup. Antonio Conte signed an 18-month contract when he joined Tottenham in November 2021. Spurs have an option to extend that deal by another year, but they want to tie him down on improved terms. A report has just been published by Football.London and they are stating that Spurs are looking to bring in at least two new players in the January transfer window as Antonio Conte looks to bolster his defence and attacking options and any opportunities to upgrade existing fringe players will be examined in what is expected to be a busier than normal window across clubs in Europe thanks to the World Cup break and associated injuries. Also in this report, it says that the club have kept a close eye in recent years on sporting right back Pedro Porro with the 23-year-old former Manchester City player, a wide man Spurs like, and he is represented by CAA base, a major agency with close links to Tottenham. However, there remains some element of doubt as to whether physically he fits the mould required by Antonio Conte for his wingbacks. Now, my thoughts on these stories in this episode, let's start by talking about the January transfer window because reports have been published today stating that Spurs are eyeing two players. If it is only two players in the January transfer window, in my opinion, they've got to be um, you know, players that walk into this starting eleven again and improve it exactly like the, the last January window. Kulisewski and Benton Kurt, they transformed our season last year, uh, helping Spurs get into the Champions League. And of course, isn't it wonderful to hear that Champions League music again and we are in the last 16. Happy days. But it is all about improving the starting eleven again. Um, I've said many, many times uh, a creative player would be great. Um, but I think that... You know, the priority has to be a right wing back and it has to be um, another centre back because, um, you know, we are fantastic going forward. When all of our players are fit, ready and available, um, you know, we are fantastic going forward. We know that this team is always going to score goals. Um, you know, problems recently is that we are conceding too many goals and, uh, you know, we certainly need to improve the right wing back situation. Emerson Royale, in my opinion, is simply not good enough for what Antonio Conte wants, demands and needs in this Tottenham Hotspur system. It doesn't look like he's going to give Jed Spence uh, that role going forward. Certainly not this season, perhaps next season. Uh, but we need a player that is going to walk straight into this team and improve us straight away. And, uh, you know, another centre back would be great. So lots of media reports were published on Monday stating that Antonio Conte is about to have another meeting with Chairman Daniel Levy and, of course, Managing Director Fabio Prasci about his future. Uh, from what I understand, Spurs do have an option uh, to extend the deal for another year. Um, you know, let's hope that this news comes out very soon because I, I certainly uh, want Antonio Conte to stay. He has transformed this club in the, what has what it been now, 13 months that he has been in charge, uh, taking us from Europa Conference League to Champions League. Um, you know, he has transformed this club. He has uh, improved a number of players. Uh, he's improved the club on and off the pitch. Um, his attitude, um, everything about um, Antonio Conte, absolutely love. Um, I just think there's so much more to come from him. And of course, you know, we haven't won a trophy since 2008. And I just think that um, you cannot go 
from Maurizio Pochettino, Jose Mourinho, and then Antonio Conte and not win a trophy. So Antonio Conte um, has to deliver. I'm sure he will deliver if backed in the right way. Um, all of us fans, you know, I, th I think I speak for a lot of fans to say that, um, you know, we all want Antonio Conte backed and uh, we all want him um, you know, to to be uh, given the tools that he desperately needs to make this club successful. And I think that if he gets the tools that he needs, he will make this club successful um, because we have seen the transformation in the 13 months that he has been in charge. Um, you know, exciting times ahead if Conte is backed in the right way. But this January transfer window for me is so, so important to back this manager. Thanks for watching and thanks for listening. I hope you enjoyed it. If you're watching this on YouTube, please do hit that subscribe button, like, share and comment below. And if you're listening to this on an audio platform, please do hit that follow button and leave a review if you can. Enjoy the rest of your week. I'll see you on the next one. Until then, come on you Spurs.